Well, RTD gearing up for one of the busiest times of the year with Broncos games and holiday events scheduled over the next couple of months. Fox 31 problem solver Shaul Turner is live with how the district is boosting its security plan. Well, remember, a survey recently said that 63% of riders were happy with the service, but that is down from 78% last year. RTD is doing a lot to boost security in all areas across the district. I think it's a good way to, to go to the game. It's a lot cheaper. I like that it's um, environmentally friendly. But crime and cleanliness has been a major concern, causing RTD to take bold steps to turn things around. But we're not done yet. We want to make sure that we continue to focus on getting better. Over the past six months, RTD has switched from using contracted personnel to using sworn police officers, with 24-7 transit security dividing its eight-county district into five sectors. The fans that are using RTD's buses and trains to reach empower filled this means that they'll be able to get there in a way that is more safe that they'll feel personally safe and secure we've increased our patrols i don't feel unsafe transit security now has 80 officers up from 19 in august of 2022 the department is budgeted for 96 officers and two detectives by the end of this year the system also uses cameras. I didn't even know they had them. RTD tells Fox 31 rider feedback is a priority. Provide more trains and try and fix the rail so it goes a little faster. Riders will also see an impact team on the platform serving as employee ambassadors. And RTD graduates will, will number about eight, which will come out of the academy in December. Four will enter the academy in January of 2025. If you have any issue at all with RTD, you can report it right away through the transit app. Shaul Turner reporting live in Denver, Fox 31. All right, Shaul, thank you.